guys, let's take a look at what's called the distributive property. To distribute means to just kind of like, you know, spread something around. In this case, we're going to do this mathematically. And you can, we can look at this um, problem here. And we know that 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 times 9 is 45. So we know the answer is 45. Okay. Here's what we also can do. We can look at this and take the 5 and do what's called distribute it uh, between the 6 and the 3. So we, we said 5 times 6 is 30. Done with that. Then 5 times 3 is 15. We'd get the same answer, right? 30 plus 15 is 45. Well, at some point, who knows when, um, might have been Thursday. Somebody figured this all out and went, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If, if you put stuff in parentheses and you just lump it all together and go 5 times 9, that's 45. If you do it separately, it's the same thing. Wait a minute, we can call this something, you know, and they went, they called it, of course, Charles. Later on, it was renamed the distributor's property after they started thinking about it a while. But anyway, once we get this figured out, it works with numbers, then we can go, oh, okay, it works with anything. So at some point, somebody wrote this down, and it's true. You can write this down if you want to or not, whatever. Just make sure you understand the, what's going on here. If you have A times, in parentheses, B plus C, that's the same thing as A times B plus A plus, uh, plus A times C. And that's it. And you can have 10 of those things in the parentheses as well. It doesn't matter. You just, go, you just distribute the A one by one by one to everything inside the parentheses, and you got it. So let's take a look. We know that uh, is true. So 5 times x plus y is the same thing as 5 times x plus 5 times y. You just do one at a time. You do this one to that one, done. Do it to this one, boom, done, got it. Now, can there be minus signs in there and a bunch of string of letters? And of course, sure. You just do one at a time and you've got it. So let's take, take a look at a couple of these. Copy, I mean, pause and copy if you need to. So we're going to distribute the 4, right? So if you distribute the 4 here, that gives you 4 times x. Done. If you distribute the 4 times plus 2y, well, it's going to give you 8y, right? Done. If you distribute the 4 to negative 8, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. And remember, you're not saying 4 minus 8. That's 4 times this, 4 times this, and 4 times that, which gives you this. Now, that's as far as you can go on this. You can't add x's and y's in this 30, negative 32. You can't go, I'm going to add these all together and mush them in that you can't. Just leave them the way they are. Those are not like terms, so leave them. You're finished. All right? Here's another one. Pause and copy. <laughs> well, let's do the 3x times the y. 3x times y, you'll not be surprised to learn, is 3xy. Done. Now, it's 3x times negative 2. Well, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and then you just plop the x on there. Boop. There we go. Now we have 3x times 4x. Well, let's do the 3 times 4 first is 12. And if you want to go over here and go, okay, well, then x times x, x to the first times x to the first. Oh, that's x to the second. You're going to add those, okay? These are not, again, like terms. These are different. That is an x squared. That's just an x to the first. That's an x and a y. Nothing you can do except for leave them the way they are and you're finished. There is no solving in these. These are expressions. You're not solving for x or y. You're just practicing like drills. At some point in the future, yeah, we'll figure out you know answers for x or y or maybe both of them. But right now, we're just doing the drills and figuring out how to do this, okay? So on page 320, there are three problems right there. Give them a whirl, pause it, and let's come back and try them. Okay, well, it's 4 times 3 is 12. That'll be 12x squared. Okay, now 4 times positive 2x is 8x. And that's it. Don't try to add these together, mash them together. You can't. That's x to the second. That's x to the first. Nothing you can do there. Okay, pause it. Try B. All right, well, 3x times 2 is 6x. 3x times, you can think of this as 1x. Don't try to add these. Remember, you're multiplying. 3 times 1 is 3. x to the first times x to the first is x to the second, or x squared. There you go. Don't try to add these together. They're not like terms. That's an x to the first power. That's an x to the second power. Okay, pause and try C. Okay, 
Well, you know, it's not too complicated. You just distribute the x there. x times y, x, y. All right? x times negative x. And this, you might, this might be a little tricky looking to you, but don't forget what the coefficients are in front of a variables, or any variable, uh, if there's nothing there. If there's nothing there, and it's a 1, right? So I have a 1 times a negative 1. That's negative 1, right? 1 times negative 1 x to the first times x to the first is x to the second. And you can write the one here if you want to or not, whatever. You're done, okay? What's x times negative four? Well, that's negative four x, and that's all you can do. Don't try to add them together. They're not like terms, that's all we got. Okay, all right, do a good job on your problem set today. See y'all next time.